right, all right. Blessings to you, brothers and sisters. You know, we're back in the land of the living again, amen. <laughs> yep, yep, we're back in the land of the living again. And it's a blessing, man. And I thank you for tuning in to Dropping Seeds Ministry Podcast. You know, Positive Flow Podcast was put together a couple years ago, and it was all about positivity, you know, about being blessed pretty much, man, and then still, you know, giving you the aspect of how to be set free from sin and living a life according to Christ, because that's what it should be about, that's what the, our mindset should be, and that should, that should be the way that you want to live, you know, with everything that is going on in this world right now, as you can see, if you really want to get your life right, if you're really trying to follow Christ, if you're really trying to deny your old man and do the thing that is necessary, amen. Then guess what? You're going to deny the flesh. You're going to deny deny this existence of your old life. And you're going to be like he says in the book of Romans chapter 12. You're going to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You know, we got to... We got to transform our mind Meaning saints We got to change our outlook on life And we got to give our body over to Christ As a living sacrifice Not not physically but spiritually You say Lord I give my life to you I give my I, I give you my all Because Lord I cannot I just can't I can't do anything without you I can't do nothing in this life Without you Because you are the head You are the alpha The omega The beginning and the end The first and the last You are everything to me and when I don't have you, I can't do anything. You know, just like in my life, man. I can only speak for myself at this point. You know, I, I can't wake up in the morning, you know, get up, look at what's going on in the world to a point, analyze it, and now I come to the Father and say, Lord, I just thank you. Lord, protect me. Lord, touch my wife, touch my children. Protect me from danger seen and unseen. Those are the things that we got to constantly keep speaking on. And saying sometimes I think a lot of us are getting so caught up in the day by day life and things that are going on in this time and in this life that where we lose focus on what really matters. And to me, this is just me because I'm a family man. What matters to me as Ramon, as a as a minister, as a husband, as a dad, what matters to me is making sure that my family is straight, their 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 life is right with Christ to the best of my ability. Because the Lord says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So I can't work truly work out their salvation wholeheartedly altogether by myself. But through the Holy Spirit that leads and guides me into all truth, I can help them get to where they need to be. You see it? See, that's the wonderful thing about Christ. That's the wonderful thing about the way that he does things. That he gives us an opportunity and he sends people in your life to help you get to where you're going. So my message is this morning, this afternoon, this evening, however you're listening to it. Don't allow this world and this life and the neg- negativity of this world to slow you down or to beat you down to, or to tell you that you can and you cannot do this and you cannot do that. Because in, in Christ, all things are possible. Amen? In Christ, all things are possible. So seek for his kingdom and all his righteousness and saints. Remember, you can come over to my website for a prayer request. If you want to drop a prayer request, it's at www.droppingseedsministry.com. That's www.droppingseedsministry.com. You can also find me on Facebook at Ramon Minister Gubo at Facebook.com. I'm also on, on Instagram at Ramon Minister 904. And you can find me on YouTube again at Ramon Street Preacher 904. Be blessed, be encouraged, download the saints. Remember, Seek first his kingdom and all his righteousness, and everything will be granted and added unto you. I do have one Bible scripture I want to read to you this morning out of the book of Psalms, Psalms 74. We're going to read from verses 1 to 3. O God, why hast thou cast off forever? Why thou anger and smoke against the sheep of thy pasture? Remember thy congregation, which thou hast perched, uh, purchased of old. And rod of thy inheritance, which thou hast redeemed this Mount Zion, wherein thou hast dwelt. Lift up thy feet unto, lift up thy feet unto press with desolations, even all that thy enemy has done wickedly in the sanctuary. So you see it. Be blessed, saints. Be encouraged. The Lord is wonderful, and He's worthy to be praised. Seek His face. More now than ever before. Pray the Lord bless you and your family.
King coming. Shalom.